position the board on something like this so it's the same as the cake at the bottom so it doesn't get in the way but we can just ice it since we want it to kind of flare out it's not going to make a difference this time if you get a cake um, if you do a much larger version of the circus tent you're probably going to want to put uh, like a support board about you know two of your cakes and then a support board with some dowels underneath it uh, so that it's not too heavy and so that it doesn't sink down okay so I'll just take some icing just start at the top push it down and this is we're just doing a crumb coat we're going to end up covering this with fondant have to be careful icing that top part. It's just a little bit more fragile there. Okay, so now I'm just going to use a piece of acetate that I'm just going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to bring it up, get some of that excess off, smooth it out just a little bit. I can come around this way also if I like it. A lot of times I'll do both, both ways. So I'm just worrying about that bottom section first, and then I'll come and do this one. Again, doesn't matter if I come down like this or if I go up like this. Doesn't really make too much of a difference. Okay, I'm going to around here and kind of clean that up a bit. Okay, so at this point, I'll just go ahead and I'm going to pop this in the freezer uh, just for about 10, 15 minutes, let it kind of firm up the icing um, and then I am going to cover it with the fondant. If I wasn't going to cover it until tomorrow, you could just leave it in the refrigerator overnight if maybe you wanted to do a kind of one step at a time. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, which we always like that, right? Um, because, you know, the circus tent, the fabric on the tent is kind of flows out. so. Um, that's going to work in our favor for not having to have it absolutely perfect. It will still look fabulous when we're done. I was just kind of getting some of that curve back. It looked like I had kind of lost some of that curve. So notice that what I'm doing is coming back in here and just taking a little bit more of the buttercream off from just that middle section. So it'll look my, like my tent kind of flares out a little more. I can always smooth it out just a little bit more after it's come out of the freezer. Okay, so into the freezer, and while we're uh, waiting for that to freeze up, we'll work on our cake board.